Hello everyone, welcome to All Tech Queries, a YouTube channel where you'll find solutions for all your technical queries. So today's our topic is how to create a drop down list in Google Sheets for multiple selection. So this is our Google Sheet and here you can see there are some drop down lists here which I have created. So whenever I write a topic, I click on this drop down menu and choose the option according to its status. So if I am still in research, I will click on the research. If I am writing it, I will click on writing. If I am editing this, I am click on, I will click on editing. So what happens is it will keep me up to date. And if I am using, if I am sharing this sheet with my employees or my coworkers, so it will keep them updated as well. So they will see this. I am editing this, so they will not edit this. If so here I will I have option final check. So if I choose this option they will know that there is a final check left for this. So they can do the final check and they can change the option to publish. So if I selected the publish option they will know that I have already published this content. So it will it is very helpful in other sectors also. And if you can see here I have also created one more drop down menu here so for categories. So these three comes under tech information. So I have set this tech info and this comes under comparison. So I have set comparison. So today I'm going to show you how it is done. Okay, how we make a drop down menu and I will also show you how to edit a drop down menu and how to delete it. And there are also some certain options there which I will be explaining in the process. So before we start, please like our video and subscribe to our channel all tech queries so let's begin so what you have to do is first click on any cell and now right click on it if you look at the bottom option view more cell actions you will see this option data validation so you can go through this method or you can also after selecting the cell you can click on this data menu and select the option data validation now upon clicking on it you will see a small window here now under criteria you will have several options okay you can choose the criteria for that particular cell so for creating a drop down menu you have to choose this option list of items now after choosing this option this option you need to enter the items separated by a comma so suppose we are writing a list of fruits so let me add apple Mm, and whatever fruits we have so here are some options now you can include the space or not it doesn't matter okay you can include or not it's your wish but you have to separate them with a comma Okay, remember that now you have to also enable this option show drop down list in the cell and you can use this to increase the text this size text box size to add more options and there are some other options okay first let me show you what it is how it is look how it looks then we will come upon these options okay now after this click on the save option see here you got a drop down menu with all these options so these are not in alphabetical order these are in the order which you write whichever order you have written there it will appear in those in that order so once you have created a cell you can copy and paste it in multiple cells or you can simply use this technique just click on this corner and drag it to insert the same cell to multiple cells so as you can see all these have the same options now let me show you some advanced options now click on the cell and go to the data validation option again now here you can edit and add some more things or you can place the placement i mean you can change the placement of the elements so you can do certain things here now let me show you this option on that on invalid data so if someone enters 
invalid data so something which is not in these options beside these options if someone enters something else like papaya so what it's what should be done it, it show it should show warning or it should reject input you have to choose any of the option so let me show you first is show warning so if i enter pineapple here so it will show a red color small icon here as you can see small indication which will show that the input must be a, an item on the specified list so it is invalid it is not from the list so either you can choose this option or let me show you another option data validation if you choose this option to reject input okay now let me show you if i enter pineapple here it will not take okay it will not enter it so previously it was showing a warning message but it is not letting me enter see it is not even letting me enter so i have to choose from these options so this is another option here and here you can show the show validation help text okay so if someone inserts some other element other than this you can show this message to them okay, if you enable this now let me show you so it shows me this message click and enter a value from the list of items so i can also change this message okay you can write select from the following Okay, you can write this option select from the following so if someone enter something wrong it will show this message okay, it is simply for showing the message so this is the main option here now you can also include pineapple here separate by a comma and another another option save now you can click here on the drop down menu and select the option or you can also write the option it is it does not matter okay if it is present in the elements you have included then it will not show any warning so so on you can copy and paste this cell again to update all the elements so here you can select different elements here so this is how it's done an easy method to add drop down menu in your google sheets so i hope this video was helpful if it is then click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel all tech queries and you can click the bell icon to get notified whenever we publish some related tech related informative videos thank you for watching